Hey everybody, it's Dr. Lenny Roberts from Summit Spine and Wellness. And during these very, very, very stressful times, I uh, thought that it would be a good idea to talk about how we can deal with stress. So I'm going to give you the ABCs of stress reduction. So starting off with A, awareness. Awareness is critical. Learning your behaviors, your patterns, and just how much stress you, your family members, your loved ones might be under and being aware and conscious of what's going on with your reactions and how much you're putting on your plate, your expectations. It is very, very challenging in society across the board and a lot of different levels right now. But being aware is the first step to knowing that you have an issue. So stress is like a, a ticking time bomb. You know, we, our bodies are astounding at adapting and handling stress, but the stress is say the threshold of, of things really hitting the fan with build and build and build and build and build gradually or suddenly can exponentially hit us. But those small, subtle, repetitive stresses can build and build and build. And then that straw that breaks the camel's back and your body starts to break down or someone has a heart attack or whatever that stress response may be. Being aware is critical. So we, we talk about it all the time in the office, but how you sit in front of a laptop, in front of a computer, how you hold a phone in your posture are absolutely controllable things that we can do to be aware of. And hold your phone up here instead of down here. You're going to get more oxygen into your lungs. You're going to get more nerve flow to every cell, tissue, and organ in your body. Your body's going to function at a higher level. So being aware of your how you hold your body, how you sit in front of a TV, a computer, a phone, how your kids do is critical. Being aware of how much stress you have on your plate and knowing that you can't continually just keep adding and adding without any, any type of reaction is critical. So the A is awareness. For B, breathing. And again, your posture is going to be a, a huge factor in that. Now, I want to share a couple resources. One's going to be from my very dear friend, Dr. Nicole Lindsay who's a kick-ass chiropractor in Asheville, North Carolina, and she and her husband practice together with her associate, Dr. Brian. Great practice down there if you're in the Asheville area. Uh, and she did a, a PDF file that's gonna talk about different things that she learned from a book called Breathe, which is a book that I just got started with, so I gotta give her the credit where it's due. Uh, she's gonna, I'm gonna put a link below to the PDF file that could be helpful for some breathing techniques. Uh, another, this is a new, a uh, book for me, The Wim Hof Method. I shared a couple of his videos and uh, breathing techniques that I use on a regular basis. First thing in the morning, I typically start my day with a series of breathing and inhale, exhale, and then holding your breath. And he guides you through that really, really well. I'll, I'll share another link on that uh, as well below. But the power of breathing is is enormous. And most of us are belly breathers and we don't get full breaths in and we have lousy posture and we're not getting the optimum amount of oxygen into our body and the repetitive stresses of that and the physiological effects of that, it's a whole separate uh, video and even program with, with what goes on and how our body needs oxygen and needs the, the, the functionality of, of getting good deep breaths on a regular basis. You know, it's just something that most of us don't think about doing at all, let alone on a regular basis. And we typically take about 15, 16 breaths per minute and then 60 minutes an hour, 24 hours in a day. So on the flip side of the accumulative stress that I talked about, you know, if you're if you're shallow breathing and you're not getting oxygen, your body's slowly, gradually breaking down and can lead to things like pain, fatigue, irritability, and increasing more and more stress. So being aware and breathing and taking full inspirations and expirations, and I'm, I'm going to let the, the PDF and the uh, video dive into that deeper, uh, but that's A and B. So the C is being conscious and continuing on, don't being hard on yourself. So it's two C's, but being conscious again goes into the awareness, but continuing on, don't, don't beat yourself up if you, if you get off track or if you get stressed out and you respond to a situation uh, not as well as you should. So I was just on my way back from a meeting uh, after leaving the office today and I got cut off and the guy cut me off and almost ran me into a tree. Uh, I, I did hit the horn, but instead of getting myself all worked up and stressed out and cursing him out and uh, giving him the expletive or whatever it may be, I just decided to take a deep breath. He might not have seen me or she or whoever it was, and I just took a couple deep breaths and continued to be conscious of my response that that may have been an accident, or even if he intended, I'll never see that person again. I didn't see them, and I'm never gonna see them again because I don't know what they look like. But my response to that and, and being conscious of my response to that, there's you know times in my past where I definitely would have handled that differently, and I would have got myself super stressed out and all fired up. 
it is not the time or the place for adding any more stress to our bodies than we need to. Uh, and that's certainly a, a small, subtle example. But those small little steps incrementally over time, repetitively continuing on that journey can really, really add up and be beneficial. So again, to recap, A, being aware, understanding what's going on with your posture mechanics and knowing if you're handling more and more stress than you have, go for a walk, go for a workout, go do some deep breathing. Another great resource is our friend Joe Dowling. I'll give a link for him too. He does some mindful work and some uh, work with getting into your zone. Really, really cool, powerful stuff. So I'm going to try and give you some options and some different strokes for different folks and different things you might be interested in finding out more. Um, but A, being aware. B is breathing and getting that full oxygenation into your, into your uh, respiratory system is critical. And C, continuing on. You know, Don't beat yourself up if you have a bad reaction. I, I have kids and the whole homeschooling, and I know a lot of folks are still doing that right now. Uh, it's a very, very stressful time, but if you do slip up, continue on the path, continue on the journey, continue to be mindful of what, what's going on with you and your body and your response to situations, and I hope that these tips help you reduce your stress level, handle the stress, but we're not going to be able to hide from all of it by any means, let alone possibly any of it, but just continuing to try and stay engaged, control what you can, and, and stay in the game can really go a long way. Hope that helps you in your stress management. Have a great day.